We are back out here at the Cottage Farm Stand, and we've got the Strawberry Festival coming up this weekend. I'm sipping on my strawberry tea, and we've got a lot going on. We've already talked about the sweets, the savory items you guys have here. Yes. You've got a lot of stuff, too, that you're giving away. Well, not giving away, uh, but at the same time, we've got like a lot of cans that you've got all kinds of good stuff. I've had some apple butter from here. I've had some pumpkin butter from here. What do we have out there for the festival this year? Well, we have all of the canned goods that we have. We do source locally. I do the canning so that we are supporting our local farms, but we have a lot of merchandise too that right. we're going to have. The strawberry strawberries. Fun. Squish they're so soft. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, and our t-shirts and got we've got sunglasses and all kinds of things like that. But so there's lots for the kids to do. We're going to have the Touch a Truck event that we talked about right. out a little bit. And then inflatables. We're also going to have over 150 vendors, which they have got everything from under the sun. It's and really live fun. music, too. Now, I know Annabelle Whitlitch is going to be out she here, right? She is. We're very excited to have her. And Dakota Hayden is back cool. with us. Uh, we also have Mackenzie Bell. We have Madeline Wil Wilkerson. We have Sam Gyllenhaal coming back with us. Man. So yeah, <laughs> we've got, got live entertainment all day, both days, and it is nine to five. And, and if you like cars, you got a car show here as well, yes. right? I know a lot of people love the classic car shows, right? It is our big new feature for this year. It is on Saturday only. Right. Uh, we are still taking entries, and you can just drive in that morning and be in the really? car show as well. Right. A lot of people wait to see what the weather is going to be for that. That always helps. But the weather is going to be beautiful because you're ordering <laughs> it. We'll make yes. sure of it. Uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. That's right. And we're also going to have petting zoo and pony rides yeah, for the kids. Along with the inflatables, so there's going to be a lot of things for the kids to do. The adults have a lot of things to do yes. as well. And all you have to do is come on out here to the Cottage Farm Stand. What are the hours that's going to be so open? So 9 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday. And we have plenty of food to keep you hydrated and uh, keep your energy level up. I think that's the biggest part of it, right? What's your favorite part about the whole festival, Marlene? It's the food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it just is the food and the fresh strawberries. And really just seeing everybody come out, it's like a community event. Absolutely. Come on out here to the Cottage Farm Stand. It really is a fun place to be, especially during the Strawberry Festival. But any time of the year, come on down here. Get that Owens burger, if nothing else, and a lot of other good stuff. See you at the festival.